Uh, our next port of call uh, would be to have a, a conversation with uh, the interim manager of the Super Eagles. Let's see if we can go straight ahead uh, to that. Um, uh, let's see. Greetings, Coach. Uh, thanks to have you. Uh, thanks for joining us uh, on the show. Uh, if you can hear me, it's good uh, that we have you. A lot of people want to listen to you. But first, uh, I want to say uh, thanks for finding out time to be with us tonight. All right, Coach, uh, greetings to you. Thanks for finding out time to be with us on the show tonight. Okay, uh, it, 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 does, it does appear we're having some um, technical issues. We'll try to sort that out. It'll be interesting to get um, Coach uh, Austin Goavon uh, to speak with us on the show. But Austin, uh, as we try to uh, put our ducks in a row uh, and get that um, you know, conversation uh, going, uh, I don't know if you were surprised uh, when the decision was taken, or like some people would say, it was a long time coming. <laughs> yeah, really, I, I wasn't surprised, you know, we're, we're part of uh, the people who, who, who's been monitoring, you know, to see if the Nigeria Football Federation will let go of Coach Gennot Rogers, give him a second chance, apparently, apparently the third. Uh, it's been a long relationship, if you take a look at it. And he holds uh, the, the record of now, you know, serving as the longest coach of the Super Eagles of Nigeria. So, no surprises here. For me, it's all about the continuity. And that's what Coach Ganaro said today on a platform where, where, when I heard him speak. He said he hopes that Austin Eguavon will continue with the sort of spirit that they have going on the team and uh, so that he can easily ease into things, you know. Hopefully, Network will allow us to get to speak to Austin Eguavon. Who is also, you know, pumped up for this role. People should remember, uh, this is someone who's been there, done that his experience is exposed. He was um, on-field captain in 1994 when Nigeria won uh, the AFCON in Tunisia. It was part of the team that was celebrated at the, at the 1994 World Cup in America. He went on to win bronze with the team as coach in 2006 until this appointment as interim um, technical advisor. He was the technical as uh, technical director uh, of the Nigeria of the Super Eagles of the Nigerian Football Federation. So he knows what's what's going on with the team. He, he can easily pick the baton and run the race. We just hope that it's going to be an easy one for him and. Uh, we, we get to achieve the things that we, we need to achieve with senior team football in Nigeria. Yeah, um, it, it comes at a period where expectations are high. Um, there was um, some level of dissatisfaction with what was happening under the former uh, manager. It, it wasn't the fact, it wasn't that we weren't winning games, it, it was the how. How we were winning, uh, our style of play, uh, the quality of play, uh, and lose, losing to some less fancied uh, opposition. I mean, there, there was an opera uh, everywhere, and a lot of people knew uh, something I had to give. So, like you said, I agree. It, it, it didn't surprise most of us when um, you know, it, it happened. And uh, they found a swift way to quickly nip things in the board, put someone who uh, doesn't really need time. I mean, that's one of the benefits of this decision. Somebody who doesn't really need time uh, to get going. It's, it's, it's been there, it's coached the team before. He had, he's had spells uh, with the team. And so hopefully we'll be able to hit the ground uh, running. And um, uh, like I said, expectations are high. I hope the budding uh, will not be too much for him to bear. Nigerians expect the Super Eagles to play well and also win. And um, it will be a disaster of immense proportion if we don't qualify for the World Cup. Uh, a credible showing at the Nations Cup also. Uh, those are some of the yardsticks. And, and I do trust that uh, Cerezo is quite capable of doing all of those things. Yeah, and um, I just really hope that we get to speak to him, you know, just so we understand uh, his focus, where he needs to, you know, uh, get to, you know, start working on right away. Because as I said, the AFCON is just about 24 days from now, even 23. So he knows that he needs to, you know, start, you know, work right away. I, I know that he has started talking to some players and I'm also trying to get to understand those who need to be in the team that have not been given a chance when Coach Gernot Roy was in charge. Yeah. You know, but but uh, it's definitely going to be a very difficult job. But as I said, the fact that he, he's always, he has been an insider, he's worked with Coach Gernot Roy too for about a year or so now. So um, I just hope that he will, he will pick up the right thing.
things that Coach Gernot Raw uh, did and then correct some of the mistakes or most of the mistakes of um, uh, the Coach Gernot Raw um, crew. So uh, it, it's a good one for me because this is what the majority of Nigerians have called for. And so the Nigeria Football Federation, they've answered. So now anything that happens, Nigerians, you guys are on your own. They'll say, oh, you guys cried out when you start Coach Gernot Raw. And we did just that. Timing could be wrong, but... They had to do what they had to do. And these guys are professional. So when they have an opportunity to play football for the fatherland, they'll take it and then, you know, try to make the best out of it. All right, let's see if we can have that conversation now. Um, Coach, if you can hear me, greetings to you. Thanks for joining us on the show tonight. So it's a pleasure to be here, sir. <laughs> All right, it's good to hear your voice uh, at this time. Uh, Coach, I, I, I want to know, I'm very sure millions of Nigerians want to know how you're feeling right now. A lot of us were um, surprised, you know, not surprised that uh, uh, you were appointed, but surprised at the swiftness of uh, the decision uh, to put you in charge on an interim basis. But I'd like to ask how, how you feel uh, about the whole uh, setup and what uh, should be the expectations of the fans? Uh, thank you very much, like I said, for having me. <clears throat> you know, I talk about surprising. I would say I was shocked. I was surprised, you know, when my name was announced. I, after it was a brief discussion, but I, I thought, you know, General will continue because it has always been like, is it going to continue? Is it not going to continue? We're going to sort things out. And then when my boss spoke to me about it uh, some few days ago, I was like, Okay, why not? But there's always a but. Is there a possibility that we can sort things out with him because his time is a bit long? But for the fact that we couldn't get things sorted out, and you know when stuff like this happens, the next person in line is the technical director. If even it's the same day that Nigeria has a game or any country has a game, you step in before you look for somebody else if you so desire. So at that point in time, I was, I was a bit hit. But I have to, like, digest the whole thing. It's something I've been through before. I'm in the system. I know everything in and out of the players and the management, of course, the administration also. So I've taken it in my, on that chain. So I think it's something we can, uh, we can, can do collectively and, and, and be successful. All right, Coach, let me throw this one in. Coach, uh, good to have him. Okay. Okay. All right, let me throw this one in. And um, <laughs> uh, Austin also waiting in the wings to have uh, this conversation with you. Uh, I want to quickly ask, Coach, if some of the things that um, the fans didn't like, you already understand them. So I want to ask you, what do you think the fans want to see? Uh, the, within the space of time that you're going to be in charge, maybe it's, going to lo maybe it's going to be longer than we think, I don't know. But what do you think the fans are expecting from anyone in charge of the Super Eagles? That's the first to win games, number one, because um, when you win games, that keeps you in the tournament or that keeps you in the competition, and that keeps everybody happy as well. And then secondly, because we know that Nigerian like, football players are flamboyant players, we are known for the you know, technical ability, the style of football, we want to see some entertainment as well. But actually, I don't, nobody knows what went wrong. You know, the first two, three years of getting raw, first two years, Eagles were playing, winning games and, and beating Cameroon home and away. You know, beating anybody with some kind of uh, play. But all of a sudden, it disappeared. I think that's the anger of many persons. So they want to see flair, you know, to get uh, as soon as as well. Coach, thanks for taking our time out to speak to us tonight. And congratulations once again on this role. Um, Coach, a major problem that has been identified with the current Super Eagles setup is in discipline. Now that you're in charge, are you going to tackle that particularly that you have just, you know, few, you know, time to work with this team? <laughs> when you talk about indiscipline, I, I don't, I don't, I don't agree completely. You know, I've been around the team, and when you talk about it, it depends on the degree. You know, the rules are set out, and laws are there for the players to abide to. And I don't think any of them have flouted the, 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 uh, the, the rules yet. So if 
anybody has done that, they should please, you know, bring such evidence, say, player A, player B, were caught, you know, uh, wanting for X, Y, Z, things they did. I haven't seen anyone, but it depends on what they talk about in discipline, because they, they go to, they go to train on time, they report on time, when it's bedtime, they're all in their room sleeping. So when you talk about discipline, I really don't know. I can't, I can't, I can't really say anything about that. But we know discipline is key to success. Anything you do, you know, if it's if it's deliberate, hard for people or for people just to talk some things that are not so good or negative things about the players, that is quite unfair. But when we talk about indiscipline, I don't think I've seen any trace of indiscipline in the team. I listened to Coach Gennard Roth today, and he said that he hopes you will continue with the spirit that he has been using to operate as, as um, former manager of the team. You've been technical uh, director before now. What is this spirit that he was talking about? I think he's talking about togetherness. So when he, when he, when he says that now, then that there should be a bit of concern. My concerns start to be corrected. Now, yes, there is this vibe, there is this spirit. They love him. We all love him because it's like a father. He has played that father role over the past four or five years. Now, probably because of his divorce, and maybe there might be some players who could be loyal to him. But like I said, I start to be corrected. So he is now saying he hopes the spirit continues. And that's what he's hoping for. And we hope they also understand that. In, you know, national duty, when you call to national duty, you put every other, other thing behind you and you go for it because you, you carry the entire million on your shoulder. So I think that's what I think. Like I said, I, I start to be corrected. Is that what it means? Because there's this vibe, there's this spirit, yes, of, of one mess together. They're all so happy. They laugh together. They train together because they've been together for so long under Gennett Road. But, and he hopes that it continues in that manner. And that's exactly what we hope for. I must say thank you so much, Coach Austin and Gwavon, for your time on the show. I know you need to run. Uh, we need to find out a time when you come to the studio and we'll have, we have a proper conversation with you. Thank you. My pleasure. Anytime, sir. All right. So that's it. Our interim Super Eagles technical advisor. Austin and Wabon speaking to us on the show. Let's go on this quick break now. When we come back, Omar Katuba will join us. We'll break down everything that Austin and Wabon just talked about. So don't go anywhere. Stay with us. <laughs>